Welcome to another edition of Bison Insider. I'm your host, Mr. John McLemore. Today I'm joined by a very special guest, one of our young professionals. Please help me welcome Mr. Kane Whitworth. How are you doing, Kane? Uh, pretty good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. It's a beautiful day outside. Mm-hmm. Um, let's start with some really easy questions for you, sir. What? Uh, where are you from? Mandan, North Dakota. Uh, sorry, I should have clarified. <laughs> Well, you know, there's only one man, Dan, but uh, just in case people don't know, it is in North Dakota. It's like a hop, skip, and a jump from Bismarck, right? Yeah, just right across the bridge. There, yep, see? Uh, you know, whenever I was growing up in Texas, we used to have four or five towns that were right at, next to each other. Literally, you would walk across the street and be in another town. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy stuff. So, what trade are you taking? Office administration. Office administration. My alarm alarm just went off on accident. (laughs) All good. We are still live and still rolling. So you know what? It's okay. Sometimes I get tongue tied and I can't talk and it's just, it's, it's terrible, but you know what? We just roll with the punches. Yeah. Um, So you're taking office administration. How's that going for you? It's going really well. I'm like almost done. I think I have like maybe 6% left. But uh, hopefully once we get back on center, I will be complete. So. Perfect. Well, that's a good goal to have. Speaking of goals, what is a short-term goal for you, say three months? Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to make goals, but with quarantine going on right now, and everything's just all jumbly. But um, I don't know, hopefully – or a personal goal for me would be to get my car running again because the battery is just junked. It's I call my car Dracula because it just sucks all the life out of my batteries. Well, um, Dracula, that sounds like a good good name for it. Yeah. Um, how about some little bit more exciting questions now? We got all the, the mundane questions kind of out of the way, so a little bit more exciting questions. What is your favorite food? Oh God, this is a hard one. Um, you know, I, I'm like super American. So I love like all things with like fat in it. Uh, burgers, pizza, pasta, hot dogs, just anything you can make during the summer that'll taste amazing. I will put in my mouth. Well, there's some jokes that we could put there, but I'm going to leave it alone. Yeah. (laughs) But, uh, what about a favorite subject? Okay, if you would have asked me this back in elementary school, I would have said recess. But, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. Like, I've always been good with, like, reading and language arts and stuff. But I guess I don't really have a favorite subject. It's, it's just what I've been good at. So. Okay, that makes sense. Um, how about a really weird one here? What about a favorite number? Uh, probably, like, six. I don't know why. Six is just like my lucky number for some reason. Okay. I mean, six makes – each each person has their own little thing, you know? Yeah. Um, who would you rather spend the day with, Oscar the Grouch or Kermit the Frog? This is a really hard question because they're both icons of mine personally. Um, Kermit's got that nice silky voice, and Oscar is just – a mood all the time so I, I think me and Oscar could get along better because we basically just do the same things all day just yell at people and sit in a trash can so just sit in a trash can and yell at each other that's yeah that's a that's a very interesting um you know I, I've been known to do a, a fairly decent Kermit voice so I might have to try it here so uh let's, see, be- let's see if it let's see if it works um, my, my, my name is Kermit the Frog, um, and I, it's, it's not easy being green. That was beautiful. Was it? Yeah, that was actually way better than anything I could ever try. Uh, you know, I'm not going to lie, my face is turning a little bit red now, so we're going to move on to a different question because I feel like I just embarrassed myself just a hair, and that's All okay. Right. That's kind of the purpose of this interview is to kind of get to know each other. You didn't, yeah. probably didn't know that I could do Kermit. Mm-mm. I didn't know I could do Kermit that well either, but that's okay. <laughs> um, how about a long-term goal? Like six to eight months, maybe a year. Where you, where you, where you feel like you want to be? Oh my 
my god. Um, well, done with Job Corps, hopefully by then, because I'll, I'll probably have my high school diploma by then. So um, hopefully I'm home, have my own apartment, and have like a stable job. Uh, those are very good goals. Stable job, have your own place, Dracula's working. You can rename yeah. something different besides Dracula. Yeah. Um, how about, this is, this is an interesting one here for you. What is one thing that you miss the most about the center? You know, I would say the food, but definitely the people. Um, you know, I, I miss all my friends. They're just, I made some of the best friends of my entire life at Job Corps, and people don't really understand how important that can be. Like, people come just for the degrees and the diplomas and stuff, but, like, you got to have good friends while you're there, too, and people that will watch your back. And I have probably the best group. Well, you know, I've, I've heard that a lot. The connection and that relationship is what people are missing the most. So I, I, I tend to agree with you, to be honest. Um, so we've got a few more minutes left and a couple more questions. Um, out of these items, there's a list I'm going to give you. So you tell me which one you think is most important. Out of these items, pants, shorts, shirt, jeans or shoes which do you think is the most important jeans for me personally I, I can't go anywhere without a pair of jeans on like even in the summer I just I don't know it's just something hardwired into my brain I'm like it must be uh genetic oh my god wow <laughs> that was so bad I'm so sorry wow and I thought I was the one with the bad jokes yeah <laughs> You know, that, that worked. That works pretty good. Um, Great. Here's a little brain teaser for you. Can you tell me which invention swept the nation? Is there supposed to be like a year or something? Swept no, what, the nation? Yeah, oh, what invention? Broom. A broom, correct, right. Yeah. That was pretty, <laughs> I got you. Yeah, there you go. Um, so we have come to the end of our, our question phase as far as this goes, the weird eccentric questions that we're just kind of like, huh? Um, but I did want to give you an opportunity pro to provide some encouragement to your fellow students. And, and do you have any words of positive encouragement that you can leave, especially since we're all doing this distance learning and we're all kind of kind of holed up in our houses and wondering when, when can we get back? Yeah. Um, well, I guess all I would say is try to stick it out as much as possible. You know, find something you like doing and just keep yourself busy with it. Uh, I don't know, maybe try to like hang out with your friends and like video calls. Just check up on people you don't normally talk to. It's been a really rough time for everybody. And as long as we're all here for each other, I think we might make it. Those are very strong words from a, from a young man who is wiser beyond his, his age. So I appreciate those words. So with that final thought, uh, that does mean that we are unfortunately out of time. I wish I had more questions to randomly ask you and throw at you with a barrage of weird questions. Um, but uh, just as a reminder for everybody who's watching, um, you know, if you're, if you're, my phone is buzzing, sorry. So if you're trying to watch all these episodes, there's a great place for you to watch them. You can either go to our YouTube channel and you can find them. Or if you head over to our Facebook page, The Burdick Job Corps Community, Mr. Kane here has, has liked that page. So he's, uh, he's able to stay up to date and see all the new episodes. Um, head over to that page, hit that like button so you stay, stay up to date. And anything that happens as far as any news or any updates, we'll definitely be posting it there along with about a thousand other places. Um, and I need your help, Kane, and I'm hoping that you can nominate one of your fellow employees, your student employees, for this next video. So uh, give us a shout out who you think should be nominated for the next video. Oh, man, Noah Jackson. Noah Jackson. All right. Well, Mr. Noah Jackson, if you're watching this video, you are next. Um, I will be contacting you and, and trying to set this up and just know that you were nominated by your, your beloved friend here, Mr. Whitworth. So to keep it in tradition, I have one final thought for you, Kane. And the final thought is, how do you make a fake noodle? Or excuse me, what do you call a fake noodle? That's my fault. I don't know. What do you call a fake noodle? 
You call a fake noodle an impasta. <laughs> God, that was great. That was, oh, oh no. All right, well, now that I see that I have another satisfied customer with his, his genetic jokes, kind of cut from the same cloth here, Kane, I don't know. I don't know. Um, anyways, just want to remind everybody to stay safe and we'll see you soon.